Hi there, welcome to week four of the British Hen Welfare Trust Homeschool Activities. This week's activity is called Enrichment for Pets. Now don't worry if you're sat at home thinking I don't actually own a pet. Uh, there are no pets or even hens required for this one. There is something for everyone uh, in this activity. So first of all, we're going to start off with what animals need. And all animals, whether they're pets, whether they live in zoos, on farms, or even wildlife, they all need the same thing. And it's our job as human beings to care for those animals, okay, wherever they are. All right, and the five important things that every animal needs is the right food and drink. Okay, so whether you've got a pet or live on a farm, you need to make sure that those animals you're taking care of have the right food and water available at all times. Animals also need the right place to live. So some animals like living in nice little cozy dens. Some prefer big open areas um, or kind of a shelter at night. Um, and some even will shelter during the day and come out at night if they're nocturnal or so, making sure that they've got the right environment to live in. All animals need help to be healthy. So if you have a pet that's a bit poorly at home, you take care of it. You maybe take it to the vet if it's really unwell. And also again, same if you're at a zoo, on a farm, or even if you find an injured animal out in the wild, you make sure that that animal can get help because a lot of the times they can't help themselves. Okay. All animals need to feel safe and happy. So how do we do that? So lots of animals, like hens, they live in big flocks, so they feel safe and happy when they're with others. There are other animals that feel safer on their own, so it's about knowing your animal um, that you're caring for really well, knowing if they like company, if they don't, and also knowing what kind of environment they like to live in as well. And the last one that we've got is all animals need to be themselves, okay? And we're gonna look at this one in particular today, okay? Because just like you and me, all animals like to have fun, they like to play, and they can get bored really easily. So we're gonna help combat that today with your pets. Okay, so I don't own any hens of my own. So what I'm gonna be doing today is I'm going to be making a destruction box for my pet dog, okay? We have instructions for this on our worksheet that's available on our website, but even if you don't have any pets, you can actually create some enrichment for wild birds as well. So do have a look on there. There's loads of different types of pets that you can create enrichment for, and enrichment is something that um, gives an animal something to do, gives them something to get their mind working, get their brain busy, um, so a little bit like you reading a book or playing a ball game, okay, it's, it's getting your mind working and it means that you don't get bored, okay, and as we've been in lockdown for quite a long time, um, I'm sure you've got on board and I'm sure some of your pets might have been a little bit bored as well because they've been a bit more restricted in what they can do, so we're going to help alleviate that boredness today. So what I've got here is I've got a large cardboard box, okay, what I've done is I've been really careful to remove all the staples and all the tape okay just in case my pet tries to rip it off or can hurt themselves okay so grab yourself a box and then what you'll need to do is fill that box with some of this and shredded paper okay so get a nice layer in there now make sure your shredded paper doesn't include too many things that include printing because it can can make your pets a bit poorly if they accidentally ingest any um, so try and make sure you've got something like newspaper or even kind of some some plainer paper that they can snuffle around in okay now I've got my box full of shredded paper so your animal your dog will be able to snuffle through there and it will give them it will be a lot more exciting than just eating food straight out of a bowl okay and it will keep their mind nice and busy so my dog my dog really likes um, toys and food so I'm going to put both of these things into this box so I've got a favorite ball which I'm going to hide in there okay some of your pets might just like food better or toys better so you can make it according to your pets likes and dislikes okay and I've also got some food here so it's really important not to overfeed your pets, okay? So this has come out of my dog's allowance for her breakfast, okay? So we're not overfeeding her and there's a few treats in there as well because we do want it to be a nice special treat and really exciting for her. But remember, don't feed them too many because it can make them a little bit overweight and we don't want that because it wouldn't be very good for them. So I'm gonna scatter those throughout my box 
And because my dog is quite smart as well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get an extra little box. I've got an egg box. I'm going to pop that in there. And I'm going to add a few more treats just scattered in there. And I'm going to close that one as well. I'm going to cover that one with some of the paper as well. Okay. And there is my dog destruction box. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to loosely close it. I'm not going to use tape or anything to make sure it's closed because I want my dog to be able to get in there. Okay. But not too much of a challenge. So this is ready to go. Okay. So as you'll see on our website, we've got different animal enrichment. You can make a destruction box for your own dog. Um, you can make a chicken pinata, a chase cat, a, a cat chase toy, and you can also make a rodent wrap as well as a bird feeder. Okay, so loads of different ideas, loads of different activities for you to keep animals around your home and in your home entertained. Right, I'm gonna go give this to my dog and see what she thinks.